I'm here at the scene of the crime spree. Right behind me, the Panama City Beach City Council just went through their process. They had an emergency meeting today to help decide who they're going to hire as the next city manager. And it was a major surprise. Chief Drew Whitman, police chief Drew Whitman is their top candidate. Now I've been asking, why is it that they don't have an education requirement as they used to have for the city manager? Keep in mind, the city manager runs the entire city. The city manager is the boss of all of the employees. Each of these department heads must have at least a master's degree. Now they're gonna hire a city manager with no educational requirement, not any sort of college education requirement. It's a big change. And now we know why. I have said for a while they have to have an insider who will keep their secrets as the FBI continues its investigation into public corruption. The city was issued a subpoena in August of last year, and many of the questions I've been asking for a long time, the city just ignored. Well, now they can't ignore them. I told a story at the meeting prior to this one that H.L. Mencken, that old columnist that chewed on the cigars and gave politicians a bad time, he talked about an incident that happened in Maryland back in 1931. It was a lynching, and everybody in town knew it was wrong. Everybody in town knew it was terrible, but not a single bigwig stepped up. Not a single bigwig uh, brought up the issue. They acted like it didn't happen. Well, it's very similar to this city, except one man did step up, one bigwig. Tony O'Rourke, the city manager who was fired about a month ago, just the day after he submitted a whistleblower complaint in which he named names and made recommendations in a memo that the city still will not release. Now, they cite a statutory exemption that says if any employees are under an investigation by the city that they don't have to give those documents up. They're right, there is that exemption. But the city is showing that it is not transparent. The city is asking, not asking, demanding $50,000 for 29,000 documents. All the news media outlets want those documents. These are the communication documents between the council members and department heads and some of the big contractors that get all the big contracts to include Derwin White at GAC. 29,000 documents, $50,000, that's almost $1.70 per page. It's unprecedented. The city does not have to charge $50,000, but they choose to. They choose to as a shield so that you don't know what they said to those uh, contractors who get all the big deals and fund their campaigns. Well, you'll know soon enough. And before any news outlet tells you, I will tell you what's on the memo. You see, my Field of Burn watchdog alerts have already indicated to me who they were going to choose today. I didn't know they would be so brazen about it. I didn't know they would do it so quickly, but they are. Chief Drew Whitman, who I think is a great police chief. I don't have a problem with Drew Whitman. I like Drew Whitman, but something is wrong with this entire system. I'll share with you later my comments with the city council. More to follow.